Hello everybody, Domino Meal here. Welcome back to another episode of CrossCode. Last episode, we uh, recovered from two episodes ago, and now we're escaping the tower. We're escaping to the tower, and probably escaping through the tower. Uh, so now we gotta impersonate our inner snake and get past all these guards. This, this part of the game sucks. All right. Now, we just have to get through there undetected. There's supposed to be a door up there that we can enter. Let's go separately. It's probably easier to stay hidden that way. W wait. Huh? Do you want to go ahead? Hmm. Good thinking. You're rather small, so they'll have a hard time spotting. Yeah! <laughs> Alright then. You go ahead. I've got your back. Okay. So. That was a little scary. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I get it. You want to go counterclockwise. Yeah, and... Ugh. That's not a good spot. Oh, I can just enter the door. I thought I had to climb up top. Ugh, oh, that was close. So many of them out there. Well then, let's take that elevator. Oh, but this music is good, though. This music is good. I don't want to talk over this music. Or, like, talk random stuff. There's supposed to be more guards down here. Stay on your toes. This music is just so... badass. I don't know. Badass stealth music. Inspirational stealth music. Oh, I get it. I get it. I'm supposed to wait for him. Cycles. Am I right? Eh, this isn't as bad as uh, level 3 in Celeste, where the cycles just hate you. Um. So, you want to throw a ball that way, and then that guy will... Okay, you're not going to do anything about that? You're just gonna accept that? Cool. I guess I'll just sneak by you then. Hmm. This is the only way, isn't it? Maybe there's something in this room. Like, this conspicuous terminal? Or inconspicuous, eh? I think it's conspicuous. Or, wait, no. no. I, I, I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? I'm not thinking correctly today. It's like... Ugh. It's... It's 11 p.m. That's not even too late. I'm just bad with English. Okay. Okay, come on. Hmm. Okay. So we fought those enemies. Uh, there's no clear counter to how many enemies there are. That's rather strange. Uh, okay, I guess they don't want us to know how many enemies are there. Cool. Multiplying. Yep, yep, knock the antivirus into the virus. Okay. Ah. Uh. Yes, yes, please knock. Okay, uh, 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 I'm going to use a high sandwich, because this part is a little bit... Yes. There's just a lot of them on screen, and it's hard to 
know what exactly is going on. I, yeah, later on in the game, there's also, like, a lot of rooms with, like, a <laughs> shit ton of enemies like that, so... Let's hope that exit can be open now. Yeah, okay, okay, got it, got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yes, please just leave. Alright, another elevator. Let's hope that one goes up again. Looking good. Wait, we're back at the entrance? Hmm, maybe we can find a route walking over these roofs here. Yep, just walk over the roofs. Uh, don't worry about the bad uh, sprite layering. They can't really see you from up down there. Th this is why the stealth section is really bad, I feel. Like, I really love the idea of this stealth section. And I, you haven't seen why it's bad yet. It, it gets bad at this part. Um, but it's just, the mood is so perfect for this part. Like, you get to see, uh, like, you get this nice music, like, inspirational lo-fi? Not lo-fi, it's not lo-fi. Uh, but you get a nice inspirational, like, musical number, and you just have to, uh, Okay, so... What? You want me to, like... I, I know you want me to shoot the ball. Okay, and then you gotta jump over there, cross the bridge before it runs out. Then this part, woo, okay. So... Uh... Let's do this switch. You need to activate the three switches. Make sure you aren't being stupid. Uh, or, well, no, this part took me an admittedly long time to do because sometimes they can see you from down there and it's just annoying. And then you get to this part and... And then they start investigating. You don't want to go up here right now, because they can see you from if you go on the boxes. And then you can just sneak down there. Okay, I made that look pretty easy, but first time around, that part is just awful. And you can kind of see why it's not that fun. Whoa, we did it, didn't we? But that's all there is to the stealth section. You don't have to do any more stealth. Okay, let's see if we can access the tower. It's entirely empty. What a strange way to prioritize security. Look, that's the rule of thumb for, like, espionage games. You have all the security at the front on the outskirts, and then once you get to the central area in the big room, there's nobody there. Haven't you played Metal Gear Solid? This is where Liquid Snake is hiding. Or I guess in this case, uh, alternate self? Maybe? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I made that connection now. Oh no, real life human self versus Leia AI self. Recessive genes versus dominant genes. Biological genes versus AI computerized genes. Oh no. Sister! Okay. Well then, nothing stopping us here. Let's enter that tower. That was a really bad liquid impression that I just did because uh, my voice is pretty much dying at this point. I can only record this last episode. Honestly, I might have to cut it short. So this is it. Hmm. I gotta be honest. I have a bad feeling about this. Why? The way we managed to get past all those guards? Doesn't it almost feel intentional? You, you mean like it's a game that's been designed to allow the player to get this far? 
like they wanted us to get through here? Well, yeah, that's the point of a game. Even if it's an unused area, there's still level design. Well, it's not like we have any other option, right? Well, yeah. All right, then. Let's enter and see what happens. Oh, boy. Dungeon. Why? H how? Why? Leia, please calm down. The interior of this tower is instanced. That is why Lucas is not here. It is like a dungeon. Do not worry. I have a plan. Oh, so are you actually going to do something for once and not lie? Cool. If things go well, I can get both of you out of this. We'll just have to break a few rules and walls. I need a bit of time to prepare things. I have to reach Lucas somehow. Meanwhile, I need you to move to the next room to the north. Okay. Uh. Okay. Cool. So, like, like, th this is essentially a dungeon. So, uh, what, eh? Huh? Yeah, you need to time that just perfectly so that it's, like, uh, off me. Alright, this looks good. Next, you'll need to move towards the room in the west. Okay. Uh. I didn't think this through, huh? Uh, yep. That was, uh, weird timing. Okay. And now. Yeah. There's a little bit of weird platforming in this dungeon. Okay. You're at the right position now, Leia. I just need a little bit longer to manage things on my side. Meanwhile, you can take care of the enemies in this room. Uh, come on. Okay, fine. I'll get a green leaf tea. Happy. So, if you don't know how these enemies work, like I did the first time I played this game, you're going to have a bit of a tough time, and you're going to have to learn how they work. Okay. Knock them into the fire. And then, bam, ice. Ice attack. Oh, it got its immunity. Okay, okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Oh, uh, don't get off me, Metroid! Be sure that you're healed. Uh, I'm going to do one at a time, so... Yes, that will kill pretty much instantly. Nice, nice to know. Glad I used, uh, six target damage for- Oh! No, I'm low on health. Eh, that wasn't good, but... Okay, okay, this should be fine. Yes, that will kill. <laughs> nice! Uh, hi? Just a moment, please. Perfect. We are very lucky. I got Lucas just at the right position, and he seems to be waiting for us. Now we will just have to meet up with him. By breaking through the dungeon room instances. Yes. If you've played old 16-bit games on the SNES, or, like, old pixelated games, 2D games, RPGs, whatever. I think you know what they're implying. We're going to break the sprite sheet, which is basically essentially where all the rooms are placed on a single map to save space, but if you can flip through the walls, you can just skip to any room you want, as long as you know how to navigate. Speedrunners use it to 
beat a link to the past in three minutes. Like, like, it's actually cool. Like, even though, like, this is a game, and it's fully, like, designed to be a game, there, there are glitches in this game, but we haven't seen any. The way they actually, like, express some of these glitches, it's actually pretty accurate to how they work in old games. Or new games, for that matter. Just follow my instructions. I will now spawn an exit point. Although that's not accurate. <laughs> now try interacting with the symbol. Yes? Oh. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, wh whoops. Why? <laughs> Sorry, I must have made a little mistake here. Let me go over the parameters again. Oh, I think I got it. Please try again. Let's try again. Um. Oh, right. Forgot about that thing. Sorry, Leia. We need one more attempt. In my defense, this whole routine is pretty experimental. Hmm. Okay. This should do it. Hopefully. Okay, one last attempt. <laughs> yes. One of the best songs in the game. Hell yeah. It worked. Well, sort of. Leia, we just jumped to another room instance. Dungeon instances. They work on a room by room basis, and all room instances are placed within a massive compound. What we will do is jump between those instances until we reach the room Lucas is in, and then escape this compound itself. As strange as it sounds, it is our best chance to get out of this place. Okay, let me see. The next exit point should be here. <clears throat> Why? Yes, it has to be on that side of the room. Sorry. From the looks of it, you should be able to reach that point. Oh. Okay. Huh. What? Oh. Do I have to do this? What? Hmm. Can I just... How does the bubble in the bomb interact? That's how the bubble in the bomb interacts. Okay, so I need this bubble here. Yeah, that'll work. And then I need to push this bomb here. Yes. Okay. And then you need to switch to fire so that this bomb can do that. Uh. Yes, this is a very tight window. It might be easier if I switch the ice circuit temporarily. Oh, right. I still need to add more stuff to my points. Cool. Um, Indigo Strike. Cool. Yeah, let's just put some points in this. Oh, right. I do want to switch my ice attack to AoE because... It comes out faster. I'll switch it back afterwards. Uh, more, more attack is good. I'll, I'll, I'll take scope later. And firewise, huh. I don't really need another dash art, do I? Um, guard art in. Eh. I haven't been using the other arts. I should. I just haven't because it's been mostly dialogue. Okay, so I should be ready now. Yes, you want to do that. You have to use special for it to like come out fast enough. And now let's switch the ice back to single target. Take off.
I kind of ruined the moment there by doing all my menu. Huh. Nice landing. The next deck is this down over there. Huh. Foreshadowing, huh. I wonder what kind of elements we'll be playing with. Nice. Okay. Now, time to kill the enemies. Come on, come on. Oh, I can just attack. Oh, okay, come on. Oh, oh, okay, okay, cool. That really shouldn't have worked out that well, but it did. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. It, it just, it just auto killed itself or hurt itself. Okay, I need a. I'll take a high sandwich. I don't want to use up another chef sandwich, especially with just one enemy. Okay. Cool. We got that. And now let's continue south. Wait, Leia. This time we'll exit through the wall to the east. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Why? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to fix the routine for sideway jumps. How? Anyway, it should work now, promise. Uh, please try again. You can tell this is improvised. We're clearly breaking the game. Or the, the, the game within the game. Cool. Alright, that worked. Okay, we're next. Next again? Help me. Oh, that's just a normal guy. Please. Help me. Hi? What the heck is this? Oh. There you are. That was certainly not meant to be seen by the likes of you. In this tower, you shall abide to the constraints laid in front of you. Not break through the walls as you please. We won't tolerate behavior like this. Your little journey will end now. Shoot. Uh, he found out sooner than I hoped. Leia, you must not be caught up in one of his battles. We had to escape. And run to the next symbol as fast as possible. Okay. Now the Super Metroid escape sequence. Okay. You need to reach the other side to the east. Uh, we have to avoid everything. So... Uh, make sure you have enough time to activate that trigger. Then... Nope. You don't want to get hit by them. I mean, you won't die in one hit like you could at the beginning of the game, but they're still level 60. They're dangerous. Oh, further to the east, you need to reach the wall. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, no. Nope, nope. Need to activate that bomb. Okay. Oh, fuck off! Oh, that was close. That was very close. Okay, almost there, to the east. Ah, yes, this part. Now, that was quite predictable. We have a good idea of where you are heading. Damn it! Lucas, he's in the room to the east. We had to reach that wall. Now, we can't have you meet up with your friend. This place is designed for one individual at a time, after all. If your hopes are to escape this place, your journey is destined to fail. An exit does not exist. That is what he thinks, anyway. I will get you out of here. Trust me. Thanks, Sergeant. Alas, watching you twirling through this complex, it is quite entertaining, to say the least. 
This resourcefulness it is unlike anything we have witnessed so far. Hence, we shall honor it with an appropriate climax. Uh, it shall be your final challenge. Let us see if you can overcome the nigh impossible. It's a slug or snail. Play it. Whatever happens, do not give up. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of HP. I haven't been doing any damage to it whatsoever. Um, I do want a green leaf tea though. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so yes, it will attack like that, and you want to make sure it's okay. Break. Uh, now. Yeah, not doing any damage whatsoever, you can tell. Uh, this guy is clearly cheating. Oh, now he has ice physics. Why do you have ice physics? Uh, Leia, this enemy, its maximum HP is ridiculously high. Trillion? Quadrillion? I'm not even sure how to say this number. However, it is not infinite. That means it is possible to defeat it. Uh, with a lot of time, yes. And perfect gameplay, yes. There's just one thing we have to do. Adjust your attack appropriately. <laughs> Fight fire with fire. I just figured out a way to do that within security constraints. Focus on defeating the burning slug enemies before they explode. As many as possible. Attack buff. Okay. Okay, uh, I need a chef sandwich. So, yeah, as you can tell, we need to Uh, it would be more convenient to work with projectiles for this part, because my ice attack is very slow. My ice melee attack, anyway. Oh, right, I need to do fire. Okay. So we're doing a lot of damage now. But it's still not quite nearly enough. This part is actually... I, I really like this part of the game. Because we're doing so much damage. Number High numbers are satisfying to watch go up. Please, trust me on this. <laughs> what, you don't like watching numbers go up? Please. That sounds like a personal problem. Okay, okay. That should be enough for now, right? No, no, not at all. Okay, okay, please. We see where this is going, but we won't let you have your way that easily. You say that, but... Oh, ha. Huh. You're gonna use bullet hell. Ha, I play Toho. made this a zoner. Like, the guy just made this slug a zoner. What, what are you, like a Samus main? Duck Hunt main, perhaps? I mean, I don't know. With the rate up, they're firing fireballs. They're probably a cloud. Okay. Oh, yes! So much damage. 
what? Time to demonstrate exponential growth. <laughs> yes. Mm, exponential growth. Love me some of that exponential growth. Yeah. Okay. Sorry I'm not talking too much. I just I just love high numbers. I just love big numbers. Hmm. So you can still attack the snails for even more damage, but do you really need more damage than what you're getting? Probably. Yes! Yes! Let the, look at that number! That number is so big! It's so big! Oh! I, the attack patterns do get slightly more complex, but uh, once you know them, you know them. Okay, time to attack the tail again! Oh, Elemental Overload. What? No, I refuse. Oh my... No. No. Please don't tell me I died during this part. I died during this part. Okay. Okay. We're doing this again. Rerun. I got cocky. I, I never died to this boss before. Why do I die to the boss now? During the important Let's Play? Whatever, I'll just cut this part out, maybe. If I feel like it. No, no, this is actually my first time going through this boss. Please, don't say anything that I just... Don't, don't listen to anything I just said. This is actually my first time. This is my first time doing this boss. I totally didn't die during the climax. Totally. Totally never didn't die during the climax. Cool. Look, I'm, I'm just pulling a panel de pawn. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, kill the slug. Make sure to kill most of the slugs, because I think... That bullet hell attack is determined by how many slugs you kill. Okay, cool. I guess attack the tail if you want to. I think you do have to attack the tail. Okay. I can't believe I died during the most important part. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, give me more slugs. Give me the slugs! Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, now he's gonna become a Samus main. Or Mega Man main, or... Simon main. I've been playing Smash Brothers a lot, can you tell? I got Kirby into Elite Smash. Because he's been my main since 64. I mean, I also got Pyra and Mithra into Elite Smash, but not really because of skill, but because they're S-tier characters. <laughs> Although they are my new main now. And now we get to start this part of the fight. Exponential growth, baby. Yes.
Yes! So... I love... I, I love big numbers, what can I say? Maybe I should become, like, a, a math professor or something. <laughs> Even though I'm not that good at math. You don't even need to attack the head. You can just keep attacking the tail all you want. Like, it's not even necessary. Cool. Let's switch the element of to avoid damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. But at least we have region. Yep, the game is lagging, but it's a Switch version. Actually, it's not lagging as much as it did when I first played the game. Because, oddly enough, there was a New Game Plus update on this game. Like, basically, the day I finished this game. And with New Game Plus, uh, you can essentially... Well, I'm not talking about New Game Plus here. But I think that New Game Plus update did optimize performance for this game on Switch. Because this fight was lagging really badly when I first played it. Or maybe it's because I just left my Switch on forever. Or... Well, that would probably do it, actually. Okay. Dodge the attacks. Don't get greedy like I did. Okay. Please do enough damage. Yes, I killed the slug. This is too rich. Now, Leia, quickly. Oh. <laughs> I like the wait here, takes. Leia is on her way. Le Leia! Did you just break through that wall? Uh, okay. Well, somebody told me to wait here for you, I think. How did you even get here, though? I thought this place is instant. Leia, we must hurry. Both of you need to take the next exit point. It will be your last jump. Okay. What's that sign over there? Should we go there? Uh, okay. But wait, what? What? Wow, ah, what is this? D did we just break the fourth wall or something? Oh, Leia, there's no time. Quick, take the elevator. Uh, uh, elevator, oh, all right. Uh, where are we? Is this even still the playground? Leia, please hurry. Run towards the sea. Somebody will pick you up. This way? You're sure? Oh, Leia? Uh, Leia, I can't move. But why? No matter what I do, I, I just can't move. Why? Is this some bug or something? Why? Leia, please, this won't go anywhere. Somebody must know their way around here. It makes us wonder who exactly is leading the way. Alas, this is as far as you'll be going. Your friend is now under our full control. We disabled his movement. He can be relocated at will. Shall it be required? Why? You leave us no choice. His very fate rests in our hands. If his well-being is of your concern, you'd be wise to obey and stop this escape at once. Why? Leia. Get away already! There is no point in waiting for me. Run! Leia. There's nothing I can do about Lucas. I'm sorry. We have to escape on our own. It is our only option left. Why? Run already! Go! Stop right there! 
You keep pursuing this fruitless endeavor. There's no escape from this place, not for avatars like you. We'll see about that. Still not very explosion-proof, I see. I'm here to fetch the lass. No, not you again! Deus Ex Machina, huh? Not really a Deus Ex Machina, but still, a surprise nonetheless. Why did he wrap her in a blanket? She's an avatar. She shouldn't feel cold or anything like that. She just looked like she needed this, alright? Stop nagging. Leia, my girl, you're back! I forgot the voice I gave her. Hi. Poor thing, you look like you've been through hell. You two, we'd like to talk to the last private. Aye, Captain. Sarji, you've got some splaining to do. What in the bloody hell has been going on with you two? Ending up in that place and all. It, yeah, it, it's about time I tell you everything I know. But first, let me apologize to you, Leia. I deceived you, telling you this lie about yourself and your past. Why? I just thought it would be for the best. But in all honesty, I did not know what to do. Why? It is because of what you are. Shizuka. She was right. You are an artificial intelligence. More precisely, you are involved with what Satoshi looks to call an Evotar. Let me start from the beginning. It all started several years ago. At a time when we were all still employed by Institainment. Satoshi, he was one of the head software engineers for Crossworlds. He was responsible for implementing the Avatar controlling module. You see, since Avatars are controlled with a mere thought, this part was one of the most complex and difficult to get right. Yet, Satoshi, he succeeded in creating a reliable connection. He developed a neural network analyzing the player's neural oscillation. After just a short learning phase, it allowed for controlling your avatar like it was your own body. It was a technological masterpiece called the Cross Code. Title drop, roll credits. After some time, though, Satoshi discovered something new. The Cross Code went beyond just analyzing players' thoughts to control avatars, some players. Using the same neural network as a foundation, it was possible to entirely simulate features of the brain. Perception, logical thinking, emotions, even memories. Before you knew it, the cross code evolved into a fully-fledged AI. And it could run an avatar without the player, the so-called evil tar. So, yes, that is what you are, Leia, an evil tar, based on Shizuka. Your personality and memories are a copy of hers. And that is also why I did not want to tell you the truth. Back in the day, Satoshi discovered that evil tars had problems handling the truth about themselves. To have your memories of your human self and then to discover that you are in fact an AI, it is a massive emotional shock that the system usually cannot handle, leading to permanent malfunction. Fortunately, that did not happen to you seems you accepted the truth. Again, I'm sorry for all this. Things might have been easier if I told you right away, or could have been an early end to everything. I just could not know what would happen, so I tried to be careful to minimize the risk. So wait, did you actually tell her the coma story? Yes. Seriously? I told you that one be too dramatic. It, it was the most logical option, though. Really, now? 
Did I understand that right, Sarge? There are these evil tars and cross worlds, and they copy the personality and memories of players. That is the other thing. There really shouldn't not be any other evil tars and cross worlds at all. Satoshi was very excited by his discovery. He pitched his findings to the higher-ups, hoping to develop a fully autonomous AI based on the crosscode. However, Instatainment was far less enthusiastic about it. Their priorities were clear, it was only about controlling avatars. Any additional functionality, especially the copying of memories, was unwanted. They immediately began to block any effort going into developing evil tars. Satoshi, he was deeply frustrated about this. Soon afterwards, Satoshi, Shizuka, and Gotham, all three of them left the company. All I know is that they found someone that supported their continued research on Evo Tars. They even wanted me to join them, but I declined. The whole endeavor seemed very risky to me. Anyway, it was not long afterwards that I entirely lost contact with them. I had not heard from them for years. That was until recently, when I discovered Leia hidden within the game's database. And that is how the whole thing started. I took some time off from work and logged Leia into the game, looking for answers. I know, I know as much. So how did you end up in that place? Well, that is where things started to become strange. We were pulled into an area that was not supposed to be part of the official playground, for a million ways to admit it. Galtham and Shizuka, they were both there. And then there was this masked person we saw on the last day. But Satoshi, he was nowhere to be found. We were close, really close to answers. Yet we could not afford to stay there, it was too dangerous. How come? Somebody with administrative access to that area was tracking my connection. They tried to locate me. Almost succeeded. I just barely escaped it by minimizing the communication with Leia over the last few days. And in the end, we just had to escape. I see. Hmm. Man, that really is a lot to take in, you know? How about we take a little break? Leia, maybe a little stroll around the ship would help you to loosen up a bit. Surely that's no problem, right, Cap? I sure don't like you deciding that by yourself, but sure, it's all right. Great, and how about you show Leia around a bit? I am I- Please, I'd just like to have a little word with Sarji for a moment. Fine, follow me, lass. Carla, is something the matter? Mister, I got a question for you. Something the poor girl is probably worrying about. Yes. Once you find Satoshi and everything has been cleared up, what will happen to her? That Carla ordered me around like that. I got a reminder who's in charge on this ship. Last, it really seemed to be in low spirits. But I really have no time for strolling around right now. Uh, Captain, do you mind if I borrow Miss Avatar for a moment? No, that'd be just perfect. Please, keep the last busy. Nice. Please come this way, Miss Avatar. This is great. I never expected to see you on this ship again, Miss Avatar. Leia? Uh, do you want me to call you by your first name? Uh, sure. Anyway, I'll go ahead and get everyone together. Just meet me outside, down on the deck. Finally, we can do the experiment. Voice is about to die. Please, please end this. That guy again. Oh, 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 oh. So, as you might have guessed. I recorded all of Vermilion Wasteland in one session. I am just dead. I can't talk anymore. Ugh. If my... Ugh.
my voice is dead tomorrow and I can't role play in tomorrow's session for D and D or One Piece campaign, not D and D, but TRPG. Ugh, this is why they'll see this video and be like, "Oh, that's what happened to Dominic." If they're watching the series still anyway, uh. Look, I'm in an impulsive saber. I just... Next session will be a lot less story and dialogue. I promise you that. Next... Maybe next episode will still be a bit focused on dialogue. Well, yeah, it will be. But there's definitely going to be a lot more gameplay in the next upcoming episodes, and I will actually be able to talk about stuff without feeling awkward, so... Look forward to that, so... Bye. See you next time.